Can we do this some other time? The world is out of turn is at you. And if so, what do you fight for? You must learn your place. Now it's time to feast. Bring it out, keep finding. Diving deep like holy steel. I won't face my doom, sayonara. Turkey ground water. Well done, how dare you? Never too late to bend the knee. When they're freezing, so sayonara. I know the time of darkness will come someday. But I will fight until the day I die. Break it out, break it out. Diving deep like cold steel. I will not face the doom. Sayonara. Alright, we're getting out of here. <laughs> So, I wasn't looking forward to this game, but I'm not exactly disappointed it's here either. To put it mildly, I just didn't think Valve had it in them. After the last little fuck up, I wasn't exactly looking forward to any new major project they were cooking up unless it was some kind of TF2 update. But here we are in a new Valve game that isn't... and it's uh... It, it, it's Overwatch? I know when the game was announced, everyone and their mom collectively said, but what about the heavy update? Oh, and also, what the fuck are y'all doing making a hero shooter eight years after the genre already died? Okay, but look, despite the odds stacked against them, and the fact that they didn't want to let people talk about the game for like the first few weeks, they have something here. Something kind of amazing, actually. At first, I wasn't really feeling it either. The game was weird, the shop didn't make sense, there weren't really any defined roles for the characters, the map looked like they made it in fucking Gmod. Some of the character designs are whack, and I thought the game had no verticality or options. Plus, a friend of mine offhandedly mentioned how it feels weird to see a hero shooter in the third person, which I guess it does since the genre is traditionally in the first person, though for a MOBA it's not really out there anymore. The game is primarily a MOBA with third person shooter elements. Hero shooter is an accurate name for it, but it's less Valorant and more Dota. And I'm glad I kept playing to figure that out. There's lanes, minions, or creeps if you're uncultured, jungling, towers, shops, and even farm denial, yeah. But it also features shooter elements like uh, a gun and reloading. It also has a tuck and roll that requires me to write a very angry and passionate letter to Valve to explain that that is not in fact a sprint. Sorry, this has just been bothering me a lot. But primarily, Deadlock is designed with a MOBA game loop in mind. This means toxic as fuck teammates. Fuck they were Jesus Christ. Games that take way too fucking long because Nana Hanzo over here refuses to group up, people disconnecting because mom called him for dinner, and finally, a bunch of tactics and metas the community came up with that you fell behind on because you had a dentist appointment for one day. But have no fear, falling behind on itemizations and metas is a thing of the past, thanks to community builds, which is easily the best feature Valve could have ever added to the game, so gold star for that. Unfortunately, I have to take that shit immediately back, because what the fuck is this character selector? Instead of a traditional blind or draft pick, the game opts for a more experimental pick system, where you pick three characters you really want to play, and you can prioritize or super prioritize them to pick the one you really want to play and maybe you'll get them. Honestly, it doesn't work that badly and it feels like when I put the super priority on characters I really want to play, I often tend to get them. But like, don't get me wrong, and I can see how they thought this was a good pick system. Like, say a new character comes out, this is a good way to let everyone kind of have a turn on the character if someone else has already played them and they put them on the lower priority list. And obviously with lower queue times, but now it feels like they've created a bunch of new problems where people will constantly be leaving games because they don't get the character they originally wanted to play. And possibly even more, because I don't know how this is going to work in rank mode. Like, is it going to use the same system? Is it going to use a new system? I really wonder if they're going to let them use the same pick system. How are they going to do bans? Like, once they implement rank mode, is it really going to work like this? And, oh, trust me, they're going to add a rank mode. Dr. Disrespect needs to get his toxicity twitch clip somehow. So, what characters have I been playing? Uh, Dave Filoni's favorite character. 
the Bebop from Cowboy Bebop. The blue thing. The Latina gargoyle everyone is horny for. It's Flubber! Uh, my mom? Uh, Captain Gold, he was designed by Aaron Ryan and oh, oh, mama. And I mean, when I first started playing this game, I had no idea what kind of builds or gameplay any of these characters had. I wasn't sure if Paradox was bad. Yeah, I mean, she is bad, if you know what I mean. But I didn't know if she was a strong character or not, or Ivy, or a bunch of other characters. And after a while of trying out this band of misfits, the game made itself more evident to me. Builds and such started to make more sense once I understood what scales with what and how damage is calculated and so on. But that's enough theoretics about damage or whatever, time to show you a playthrough in action. Here, I'll do an Ivy guide to let you know how this works since she's so popular. First pick and star her, get this and that and uh, whatever. Uh, get your one. It's a spammable grenade that throws horn thorns, thorns, I meant thorns, on the floor. It's great for minion denial if it can actually hit those floating balls. It's very annoying and you should throw it at your opponent all the time because it will just make them want to quit the game. Your two uh, binds people together in some kind of polycule or something. Uh, just rope up as many people as you can. It's always a good idea. And your three, it sucks. It's bad. You stop firing your gun for like three seconds and become a statue. That's so fucked up. How could Valve make a character stop firing their gun for more than three seconds in a shooter? Terrible. Bad move. Never use it. And the ultimate uh, makes you fly around very slowly and throw around your teammates. Yeah, you can pick up and throw your teammates like an Amazon delivery drone. And just like those bastards, you have to throw them directly into the line of sight of every single person walking in a large crowd. It's the best way to deal as much damage as possible. And if your teammates get mad at you for for throwing them into the enemy team. Uh, tell them you did it for the vine. <laughs> as far as lore goes, I have no idea what's going on. Visually, it's a unique blend of urban fantasy mixed with some clockwork devices, and I'm I'm really digging it. The minions have these little candles on their head, and they melt when their uh, health goes down. It, it's 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 cool. There's also a good amount of polish in some weird aspects of the game. Like, there's so much voice work in the game for the characters. They have unique voices for targeting enemies. They'll call the characters out. There's specific pings targeted at your allies, telling them to back up. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. This is Valve, after all. They're like the kings of character personality in their games. And once they start getting more voices out there, I can totally see people playing around with these character voices like dolls. You know, just like how they do with the TF2 mercenaries. Turning their like 50 lines of dialogue into some fesh pints masterwork about how they ate a combination pizza uh, taco bell <laughs> so with all of that in mind it seems like they got it all figured out right and well the map and some character designs still look super cheap and fucking bad and so do some of the icons on the mini map and the level still needs a bit of texture brush up among some of their air dashes and tuck and roll feeling really janky and there are some videos out there talking about how the game gets really obnoxious into higher levels of play but i don't know i barely have double digit numbers in terms of play hours i can't tell you what top tier gameplay looks like but i can tell you what average joy experience is like and what i'm getting at is this this is solid work and maybe you're tired of the hero shooter genre or australian robots yeah, maybe that's just me. I think Deadlock would call itself a MOBA before anything else, therefore it still has some of the genre's flaws. All I want for them is to address some of that, and try to nudge it more in the shooter's direction. Maybe make the team more aware of objectives by highlighting them at certain time points of the game. Maybe make the time to kill, or TTK, a little faster in the early portions of the game, and lower the damn respawn times? Just maybe? Or fuck it, maybe if the timer reaches 30 minutes, the agents get their ass up and start beating each other up like it's WWE 2K22. But yeah, this is an alpha. The earliest stage of a game's finished development. I think what they have here is something surprisingly fresh and fun if they can keep the ball rolling. And with the presumed help of Hapu... Hapos? Hapus, whatever. The Feather from Versus of Rain 2's former co-founders, they must have some direction for the game. The worst thing they could do is leave it as it is forever and continue updating in its current state. Because while it's good, it could still use some of the aforementioned work. Though the fact the game is receiving updates now might be evidence of my worst fear for the game coming to light. But it looks like in these updates they're not just acknowledging character imbalance, they're also updating new models and icons, so maybe they're just going to be slowly updating the alpha until it's a finished beta. Uh, we'll have to see about that. Or maybe they're just testing the waters with updates to get an idea of how balance is going to look like. But ideally, they'll get their data, pull the game, and re-release a more finished version of it in a beta state, or just a full release, because I'm tired of games being in 
fucking infinite betas, goddammit. And hey, the alpha is a fat price of free. Presumably there will be a battle pass eventually, but if they keep it as free and let you play every character and only have the battle pass for you to acknowledge having to spend any money, then like, yeah, that's fine. But like... Isn't it kind of exciting? Valve is making games again! I love how it feels like such an older game, too. No defined roles, no established meta, no clear railroad identity for characters. You can even prank your own teammates with abilities. It's, it's fucking great. It harkens back to the early days of TF2 and Dota 2. I would say Quake, but I never really played Quake. I was more of an Unreal Tournament kind of guy. It even has elements of older CSGO and, like, really old League of Legends. A time where the devs weren't afraid to give players options and often just made characters based on concepts rather than a hardline role to shake up the meta or whatever. A time where you were given all the tools to be at the top of the leaderboard or troll the shit out of your teammates. <laughs> or both, really. In a landscape of gaming where every team game tries to constantly remove options from players, railroad playstyles to make sure new players aren't confused, and even homogenize kits to minimize character rebalancing, Deadlock feels like a breath of fresh air. Once you start understanding the game better, you really are free to break its boundaries and explore your own builds, or until a meta is inevitably discovered, but until then it's a wonderfully liberating experience and almost feels like a fresh take on an ancient or even two ancient genres, and everyone, including me, was so against this game just conceptually, and it's wild to me how well they managed to pull it off for its first draft. So with all that in mind, is Deadlock good? Well, if you like weird shooters, MOBAs, both even, the Source Engine, uh, some weird fucking mobility stuff, a robot that can grab people from downtown, uh, float cancelling, uh, grabbing your teammates and throwing them in the middle of a ravenous pack of wolves, um, paradox thighs, gargoyles, freedom of play in both location and role selection, a free new game to play with all your friends, the unpolished look of Source Maps, playing loosely with the rules of what character builds would look like and uh people saying slurs in the chat then like yeah it's a, it's a pretty good game but you might have to wait a little longer just because valve is late to the barbecue doesn't mean they can't cook hey future me here it's been like three or four updates to deadlock now and i'm kind of just making this off the cuff and saying most of my complaints are basically addressed yeah, surprisingly the biggest way to solve the problems I originally had with the shooter part of the game was just people getting better at the game. Yeah, go figure. They're updating the character models, they're updating the game, they even added a new character, balance patches, and it's updating a bit too fast for my liking, but I'd rather have this than them just giving us radio fucking silence after just dropping the game, so... I'll take it. Hell, I didn't even mention the boxes full of shit that drops that can actually help players recover in the game if you're good enough at knowing how to navigate the map. That's honestly really awesome. So yeah, honestly, the game is starting to show more of its teeth and I really like what I see, like a fucking dentist. I, I don't know what this analogy is anymore. Point is, I think the game is showing more of itself to me and the more I learn about it, the better it seems to get. If they keep going at it and actually make an official release for this game, I think it's gonna be a massive hit. The, honestly, fingers crossed. Valve really seems to know what they're doing with this one. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all on the streets of New York.